Hi there and welcome to Scottish Leaf Owners Weekly Vlog. This is going to be a new section of my YouTube channel in which I sit here, whether in the car, out and about, just giving you um, a lowdown of the EV news and just green tech in general. And we're going to start off with Volvo, who, if you've seen the news, especially the front page of the newspapers, um, they're saying that they are going to be diversing away from petrol and diesel cars and electrifying their model range. Um, this is partially true. They're still going to keep petrol and diesel cars, but they're going to make them plug in hybrids or have some models that are fully electric. This kind of goes with the trend with other um, mainstream manufacturers like Audi, BMW, etc., who are and Mercedes, who are developing a range f of electric cars going into 2020 and beyond. In other news, France have announced that they are going to be banning the sale of petrol and diesel cars from the year 2040, with the expectations that they will be carbon neutral for the year 2050. Um, this is kind of in line with the Paris Climate Agreement and will hopefully make them a lot greener um, since plug-in hybrid, hybrid and electric sales already account for 5% of the French um, car market. In Tesla news, Elon Musk has just announced that they are going to start production of the Model 3 with SN1, so serial number 1 of the Model 3, um, being produced uh, today, which is Friday, July the 7th. This will go to Tesla employees who have reserved the car, but unfortunately when you have a look on the Tesla website, there still isn't any pricing or configuration options yet for anybody who has reserved a Model 3. In other Tesla news, if you have a look at the certified pre-owned um, cars that are for sale on the Tesla UK site, you'll have noticed that one was for sale earlier the week at £39,000. This was a Tesla Model S um, 85 kilowatt hour um, battery um, it was only a couple of years old and was available for just £39,000. This is making Teslas a lot more affordable or bringing the bar down to be a lot more affordable and although it's still out the price range for regular buyers like myself and probably yourself, um, it just shows that in years to come hopefully Teslas will be available well or through Model S, Model X, Model 3 or Model Y to the masses. I'm due to pick up my Model X in two weeks time. Um, no, I'm not going to change from Scottish Leaf owner to Scottish Tesla owner. I have rented the car for the weekend from White Car, so expect to see some YouTube videos of that going forward. In motorsport news, um, Audi have just announced that they're going to be taking over the App Schaeffler Formula E team for season four onwards. Um, this is the first outside of Renault um, major manufacturer that have entered or taken over a Formula E team, um, which they'll be using the technology, etc., going forward to go into their um, road cars going forward. Um, this is great news. Um, and Jetty Racing have a tie up with BMW and there's also plans hopefully that Mercedes are looking to enter a team into the championship as well. Um, this is a great boost and shows that Formula E is the motorsport of the future and the way forward. Lastly, I just want to say good luck to uh, Mr. and Mrs. Plug-in Adventures, who is Chris and Julie Ramsey. 
they embark on the Mongol Rally, which is a 10,000 mile trip from starting off at Goodwood and ending up in Mongolia. Um, that starts uh, next Sunday, the 16th of July. Um, you can follow Chris on at Plugin Adventures and you can follow him on Instagram where he'll be posting updates of how he's getting on. They're going to be the first competitors to do this journey in an electric car and they have a 30 kilowatt hour leaf that will be hoping to do the journey. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe and check out my Twitter feed on at Scottish Leaf Own. And if you've got any comments or suggestions for future weekly blogs, please put them down below. I hope you have a good week and I'll see you next time on the Scottish Leaf Owner YouTube channel. Bye for now.